In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on the concept of simplification by substitution. We have already memorized the table, I hope, which I taught you in the previous video about simplification by substitution. Here is an illustration as to how we would be using that table. Let's read the equation and let's solve it together. Simplify cos inverse x upon under root x square plus a square. Remember we had this thing when we have a square plus x square, we substitute x by a tan theta or a cot theta. That is what we are going to do. Let x is equal to a cot theta. If we do this, what will my question turn into? It will become cos inverse a cot theta upon under root a square cot square theta plus a square. Remember, a square can be taken out as common and when it comes out common in the root and it comes out outside the root, a and a gets cancelled. So, it becomes cos inverse cot theta upon cot square theta plus 1 under root. I am repeating it again. A square comes out. It becomes A. A in the numerator, A in the denominator gets cancelled. Now, what is the formula of cot square theta plus 1? Remember, we had this formula in our junior classes. We learned this formula. What was the formula? Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. Remember this formula? Right. So, now we have what? We have cot square theta plus 1 cot square theta plus 1 is actually equal to cosecant square theta. So, using the formula, solving it further, I have cos inverse cot theta in the numerator. You see cot theta here. Denominator is cot square theta plus 1 which becomes cosecant square theta of the under root. Root gets cancelled. It becomes cosecant theta. Now, simplify cot and cosecant in a form of sine and cos. What happens and why sine and cos? Because outside we have cos inverse. So, at least we want something or some term of cos to come. Okay. What is cot theta? It is cos theta upon sine theta. What is cosecant theta? It is 1 upon sine theta. Remember? Right? Sine theta, sine theta gets cancelled. We are left with cos inverse, cos theta. Now, theta comes out. What is theta? Theta is actually from the substitution that we did. We know x is equal to a cot theta. That means what? That means x upon a is equal to cot theta. Right? So, that means x upon a is equal to cot theta which I am writing here. x upon a is equal to cot theta. Now, Theta is what? It is cot inverse x upon a. So, here I find my answer. The final answer is cot inverse x upon a. How did we do this question? Let me repeat it for you again. The question is simple cos inverse x upon under root x square plus a square. It is only and only based on the substitution method because we know x is equal to a cot theta. You put the value, you substitute, get some things common and then finally you reach theta. Now, what is theta? You come back to the substitution. You know that x upon a is equal to cot theta. That means theta is equal to cot inverse x upon a. This is my final answer. And in the next video, we have one more illustration dedicated completely to the concept of simplification by substitution.